us solve a few questions. All of you brought us the ladder has mass m and length l. It is placed like that. This is wall and this is floor. Wall is smooth. Floor has coefficient of friction mu. Okay? Right? If I decrease the angle theta, what will happen if I keep on decreasing? There will be a point at which it will not be in equilibrium. It will just slide. Are you getting it? So you need to find minimum theta for which it will not slide. As in it is about to slide. Done? Draw the free bar diagram. Step number one, draw the free bar diagram. Free bar diagram is not correct. Okay. Is the answer correct? Free bar diagram is not correct. Theta is always dimensionless. When you get sin theta to be equal to something, it has to be dimensionless. If it has dimension, your answer is wrong. So tan inverse mu. One by mu. You can check your answer whether it is right or not. If mu increases, theta should decrease further. It should allow lesser angle if theta is if mu is large. Have you drawn the free body diagram? There will be a normal reaction from here or not? This will be normal reaction, let's say N1. There will be a friction? Which direction? It is about to slide, so this way, what magnitude? Since it is about to slide, mu N1. There will be gravity, mg. What else? <laughs> Normal reaction from here. This is let's say N2. Okay? We have drawn the free word. There is no friction at the top. Okay? So next we can write net force along x axis to be 0. Then along y axis to be 0. My x and y axis are these. Along x axis, what are the forces? Mu n1 minus n2. This will be equal to 0. Right? Along y axis, we have n1. This. And then I can write net torque is 0 about any point. About which point should I write? Why? If I write about this, torque because of these two will become zero. Okay, so this is more sensible to write about this point. Okay, so what is the torque about this point because of mg? What is this perpendicular distance? L, L, L by 2, L by two cos, cos, cos theta. So mg into L by 2 cos theta is a torque because of mg. What about torque due to n2? N2, you have to drop a perpendicular on the line of M, N2, this. This distance is what? L sin. L sin. So minus of, why minus? Because sense of rotation is different. N2 into L sin theta is equal to 0. Now N2 is what? Mu times N1. N1 is mg, so N2 is mu mg okay. so I can write mg l by 2 cos of theta minus mu mg l sin theta equal to 0 mg l mg l so tan theta is 1 by 2 mu Theta is tan inverse 1 by 2 mu. 
Okay. Any doubt? Question? Okay. Chupa jao. Here is our. There is this rod of mass m and length l. About this fulcrum, it can rotate. This distance is L by five. L by five. L by five. Here, a point mass is kept small m. Okay. You need to find out how much mass you should keep here. What is the point mass? You should keep here so that the rod doesn't rotate. Simple, simple questions. Okay, I'm not making it difficult. M by four. M by four. M by four. M by four. Which is wrong. One is small m, other is capital M. Which m by four? Small m by four. So small m by four. Okay, so we will move on. That's wrong. That's wrong. Both are wrong. Small m by four, capital M by four. Both are wrong. So what is capital M? What we have? Oh. Capital M is the mass of the rod. Yeah. Okay. You probably ignored the gravity force on the rod. So is it m by a? No one. Okay, nobody is getting two m by two m by two m by capital m by. So one. Are you forgetting that? Yes. Two m by three m by eight. So when you draw figure diagram, you need to also draw capital M G force from where? L by two distance. This is your normal direction, let's say n one, and actually you can assume that mg force is acting on the rod here. Actually, what is acting? Normal direction between small m and the rod. And since small m is at rest, normal direction is equal to mg. Okay, so that is why this force can be considered as mg, but it will not be equal to mg if rod starts rotating with angular acceleration. Are you getting it? Then you have to write n minus mg is equal to m into a, and from there you get the normal reaction between small m and the rod. Right now, rod is fixed. Okay. Let's say this mass is m1, so m1 g. So about which about which I should equate talk to be zero about this point? Then n1 will not come in the equation itself. Right, so I'll be able to write it as mg into L by five minus capital M G into L by two minus L by five, then minus m one G into what? L minus Is this correct? Yeah. All of you written this only? Yes. It's like this. One last question. A uniform rod of length L rests against a smooth roller. This is roller, okay? And it is smooth. Are you with me? You have to find coefficient of friction between the ground and the lower end. If minimum angle is theta between the ground, so mu is what? If 
will decrease uh, that theta, it is slight. OK, how does it make a difference whether it is a roller or not? Because of the roller, what will happen? So that end what is the direction normal direction at this point? Perpendicular to the uh, rod. Perpendicular to the rod. Okay, that is the difference from the previous question. This is N2, this is N1. Cos square theta by two sin theta. No, it is a complicated expression actually. It has mass. Right? The rod has mass, okay? If a rod doesn't have mass, then theta can be n two sin theta by mg. I'll write the answer first. Where's the answer? Anyone closer to this? Not cost, but I have something which looks even one. Okay, let's solve this. There will be mg force. There will be mu times normal reaction. Okay. I can take component of n2, horizontal and vertical. This is theta, this is 90 minus theta, theta. This is 90 minus theta? Yeah. And that is theta. So this is n2 cos theta, this is n2 sin theta. Stop talking. Okay? So n2 sin theta, Chaitanya Chukoya, minus mu n. Is equal to zero? This all of you got? Yeah. Okay. Vertical direction N1 plus Both these equations you got, still you're getting it wrong. Then talk about this point, let's equate that to zero. What is the torque because of mg? So you have to find mg into what? Mg into L by two. No, L by no, two. It's, it's a weird expression. About which point? About this. About yeah, but then the normal thing will have. A Stop talking. This m L by two cos theta. Okay. Tau because of N2 is what? It will just be N2 L. No, how do you know what is this length? It will be L minus L square L is still here. So L minus L square N2 into See this entire force is perpendicular to rod. So you don't need to worry about taking its component when you are finding the torque. Okay, so N2 into what? N2 into 
L minus H cos theta. H by sin theta. <coughs> These are the equations. How many variables? N1, N2, mu. Three variables, three equations. So when we take mg into L by 2 cos theta, we assume that mg is being applied at one end of the No, here, center of the rod. Yeah, and then it will rotate along the center of mass, right? No, not that the, the, the rod. There is no fixed axis. It so depends on, suppose this rod I fixed one end, it will rotate about from its top. It doesn't rotate from center of mass. An object doesn't need to rotate about center of mass. So how can we calculate torque if we don't know what the axis is? There is no rotation at all. It is an equilibrium. So net torque about any point is zero. Yeah, but for the <coughs> equation we still need force and uh, distance from the... Ah, uh, you write. See, I have written torque about this point zero. You can write torque about oh, any uh, point to be zero. You get the same answer. But if I write about this point, my equation will be simpler. Because, because of these two, torque into zero. So what? There, uh, north from n to y, we write l minus s sin theta. So, why is it not just h by sin theta? Correct. Yeah, why it is not h by sin theta only? Who told me that? No, I just wrote it. This distance is h by sin theta only, right? So, it's simply n2 into h by sin theta. Ah, what? So why does the revolver make it perpendicular the normal reaction? See, perpendicular to a point is not defined. So roller makes it a smooth contact. That's it. And suppose it is not given it is a roller or not, still you take perpendicular to rod. Okay, it's a reasonable assumption, uh, but then in reality it may not be perpendicular to rod because the point will not only apply a normal force, it will also be a little bit pierced inside the rod and then it will try to apply the along the rod also some force. Any other doubt? No doubt, doubtless. Okay, so this is about the equilibrium. So we take it perpendicular to the rod only when it like extends beyond that wall. Right? The See, the normal reaction we have discussed in laws of motion, normal reaction force should be perpendicular to both the surfaces of contact. Okay? Understood? If both, has, both surfaces are plane, multiple points of contact will be there and perpendicular to plane is same anywhere you go. And if the shape changes, there will be a point contact. There cannot be a <coughs> surface of contact. One sphere and the surface also has a single point of contact. If it has more than one point of contact, it is not a sphere. It may look like a sphere. It has to be a point of contact. No doubts, right?